Hey everybody, how you doing? Last Outrider here with another Grey Knight video. Are you ready for it? Good, because we're going to go into chapter organization. The Grey Knights are unlike any other Space Marine chapter. Built around the tenets laid down by Malkador the Sigilate and the first Grand Masters, eight of them. They do not follow the Codex Astartes. Their organization, ranks, and deployment are dictated not by the teachings of Rabot Gilliman, but by the unique demands of their war against the Dark Gods. The Grey Knights chapter is organized into brotherhoods. Each one comparable in size to a space marine battle company. Brother captains lead these formations under the auspices of the Grand Masters, who, in turn, are guided by the decisions of the Supreme Grand Master. This higher command is known as the Chapter Council and meets only in times of great import or dire need. The eight Grand Masters, often crusading far from Titan in the far-flung reaches of the galaxy. It is at these moments of crisis that the eight will gather in an inner conclaves of the Citadel to determine the chapter's course. Each Grand Master has an equal voice within the Council though the Supreme Grand Master has the power and responsibility to make the final judgments. However, the Supreme Grand Master can only be elected by unanimous consent of the Grand Masters, and so is invariably a wise and trusted leader. So if you have any fluff about inner arguments between Grand Masters, not going to happen. It had to be a unanimous consent. Now, <clears throat> the brotherhoods, the brotherhoods contain roughly 100 battle brothers, divided up into various squads and formations of the chapter. These each fall into several broad categories, focused on the different fighting methods and specialized war gear used by the Grey Knights during his career. A battle brother of the chapter will take on many different roles, from serving in the Terminator squads with Blade and Stormbolter, to the more lightly stri armored Strike squads or heavily armed Purgation squads. It is the responsibility of a Grey Knight to become skilled in all of the weapons used by the chapter just as he must hone his psychic powers into a mystic blade with which to cut down warp spawn. All battle brothers are trained in the use of every piece of war gear and armor possessed by the chapter. Thus, it is possible for a battle brother to serve in a different squads from one mission to the next even. The formations within a battle brother, the formations within a, a, a brotherhood fall into apparently four main categories, which we already know, the Terminator squads, Purifier squads, dot, 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 dot. It's going to go into those, but that was, would be other chapters. Now, <clears throat> I want to add in a little thing here because Grey Knights fans actually ask me questions. That's a hint for you, Space Wolf fans. Um, why are they Grey Knights? In all of the chat, in all of all of the books, of all of the fluff, of everything that I've gone through, nothing actually explains why the hell are they called Grey Knights? Hmm. I mean, where did the where did the name come from? So I'm going to give you my theory, a hypothesis, actually to this question. Um, I believe that the Grey Knights, A, it's because their armor is unadorned. It's not painted. It's carved and filigreed, but it's not painted. And there is only one other legion out there 
who had unpainted armor. And that was the pre-heresy death guard. Mortorion wasn't a fan of interior decoration. Well, there's only one death guard captain in the that's famous at around the time of the Horus heresy for being the first one to actually announce that Horus had turned traitor. And that was Garo. And Garo stripped all the paint and insignias from his armor and just walked around in gray power armor um, for after, after he left his legion. Or actually, he would say after his legion left him because he's going to say he's still death, gu death guard. And the traitors, yeah, they're just assholes. Um, so I believe that Garo is going to become or is one of the eight original grandmasters um, and that the reason why there are eight brotherhoods and one for eight of the grandmasters is because each one is going to be one of the original different eight and they trained those gray knights in their specific fighting styles so the eight brotherhoods are going to encompass the tactics of eight completely different legions giving the Grey Knights a tactical flexibility that you will never find in any other Astartes Legion because, um, well, they have eight Grandmasters with eight completely different fighting philosophies. Sorry, that's my theory. We're going to go into the composition of the Eight Brotherhoods next. Until then, bye!